so if you're new to this channel, then you probably don't notice, but recently I had a bit of an interesting project on my hands. This, a Windows XP powered gaming PC from circa 2008-2009. And I've been loving this, but there's one thing. Ever since pretty much Windows XP, people have noticed that, hey, for some games, using a controller is a way more practical and comfortable using a keyboard even on pc games and the windows xp area was full of games that were just absolutely made for the controller and i just couldn't play them any other way like these two beauties for example and actually you can get those cheap usb controllers for windows xp on ebay for pretty cheap but come on it's 2020 and you don't have time for that but what you may have already is one of these an xbox one controller but naturally you can play windows xp games on this right seeing how the operating system is from 2001 and this thing is from 2013 and even microsoft themselves said there are no drivers for this thing right and you couldn't do it all with bluetooth so you wouldn't even have any cables running through right well that's what i thought but as it turns out it is possible and today i'll show you how so firstly you don't need any additional drives for this thing which is absolutely great however one thing that you will need is some bluetooth receiver so i'm just using this basic one from asus and of course you need the drivers for that so the first thing you need to do is right click on the little bluetooth icon in your taskbar from there you need to go add a bluetooth device and then begin the search hold down on the sync button on your xbox controller until it starts flashing really fast from there, it should be discoverable inside Windows, then simply select it, and it's going to start pairing. Now with a normal Bluetooth device in the year of 2020, that's going to be fine, but with Windows XP, it takes a few more steps. From there, you need to go into Explore My Bluetooth Places, and from there, once again, select Add a Bluetooth Device. But make sure that your Xbox One controller is still in search mode. So select it, hit Next, and then enable the gamepad service that will show up. Now, and once it's all done, you'll see that your Xbox One controller will stop flashing and it will settle on a solid color, which means that it's now synced and you are using an Xbox One controller with Windows XP. However, that is not really the end because Windows XP and most games that came out on it will have literally no idea what all these crazy new buttons are that it's suddenly detected. And you may get some very weird attempts at the game and Windows trying to map all the buttons to a controller to the correct functions in the game. When I was first playing Need for Speed Underground, I basically had to, I believe, use A to accelerate, uh, left bumper to uh, brake, and then the D-pad to move left and right, and then left on the D-pad to move left, and then Y to move right. It was all over the place. So you seem to have to go into the game and remap every single button for every single game, which can be a bit annoying, but hey, it's worth it. And there you go. And next Xbox One controller synced with a Windows XP based PC and you can play games on it completely fine. I've recently shown in this video over here, which are coming up in iCards, whether they are, I'm not actually sure which side on, you can see that I played Need for Speed Underground completely fine on my Windows XP PC using this exact controller. And it's just insane to think that you can play with a controller from 2013 on an OS from 2001 and play a game from 2003. It's just insanely dumb and I absolutely love it. So I definitely felt like I made need to make a whole video showing how exactly you can do that. And I hope that you test this out as well if you have a chance. It is really fun if you have a Windows XP machine. And yeah, if you ever wanted to play games on it with a controller and you just have, you know, a modern Xbox One controller, then there you go. Now you know how to do it. If you found this video helpful, then hey, maybe check out my Patreon down in the video description below. Even one dollar milk is a long way in helping my channel. Down there you also find my Discord if you want to talk to me about well, this or whatever else really. And I guess that's really it, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you didn't subscribe, like it and I'll see you all in what I make next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.